Hey there and welcome. I'm Christina Johnson, transformational nutrition coach and founder of the Emerge Weight Loss Method. And today I want to talk about four traits that are really essential to having a healthy weight loss mindset so that you can not only reach your weight loss goal, but be able to maintain it, to have weight control um, for your life going forward. And I don't know if you've heard this statistic, but there's research that consistently shows that 95% of diets fail. So either they don't help someone lose weight or somebody loses weight, but then doesn't keep it off. 95%. And that's really discouraging to anyone who's trying to lose weight. And so what I want to do, my goal with, um, with all of you and with the, the members of the Emerge Weight Loss Program is to, to figure out the best way to help you become part of the 5%. The 5% who is able to maintain a healthy weight long term. And so weight loss truly does begin in the mind. And having these, these key traits of a healthy weight loss mindset is really, you know, one of the best places to start when it comes to losing weight. So that's what I want to do today is go over these four traits with you that are found in, in people who successfully maintain their weight. So here we go. And as we go, I'd love to hear which of these traits you relate to the most or which ones you feel like you could use some improvement on and there's some opportunities for growth. So let me know as we go. Um, and I'd love to know if you're watching live, say hello. If you're watching the replay, um, just type in replay so I know that you're catching it later. Okay, number one, the first key is that you really want to be honest with yourself about what your why is. So, so really um, just ask yourself some questions and figure out why do you even want to lose weight? Like what is really motivating you because honestly for so many people I think we just always have this thought I need to lose weight I need to lose weight but we never really think about why is it even important to us because the truth is uh, maintaining a healthy weight does require changes it requires some effort it requires a little bit of sacrifice here and there and so so in order to make it worth it it's important to know why, like what is making it worth it? What makes it worth it? What makes the sacrifice and the, the changes you're going to make worth it? And what I want you to know is that there's no right or wrong answer here. You know, it's, it's whatever's true for you. So for some people that I'm working with, it is truly that they want to feel comfortable in their clothes. They want to feel more confident when they're out in social situations. And that is super motivating to them. For other people, um, you know, I've been talking with a few people this week who are really motivated because, you know, they're seeing parents or other relatives with serious health conditions or, you know, dying young and they, they want a different outcome for themselves. So for them, it's more about improving their health. Um, and so for them, that's the bigger why. For other people, it's you know being able to be around for your grandkids to get older or to be able to be active and to be the best mom or grandma that you can be. So the point here is it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong as to what your biggest why is, what your motivator is. But you need to know like deep down, what is it that is going to motivate you to keep going when it gets tough? So that's number one, the first trait of a, um, a successful long-term weight loss uh, person is that they know what that bigger why is for them. They know what's motivating them. So let me know, <coughs> excuse me, just type a one in there. Um, if this is an area that you feel like you need to do some reflection on. If you know what your bigger why is, let me know that in the comments as well. I would love to hear it. Okay, trait number two is that, okay, so there's been research done on the 5% the of people who are successful, who successfully have weight control, so they, they can maintain this healthy weight long term. And the researchers coined this term, which I personally don't love the term itself, but I'm going to share it. They have found that the people who successfully maintain a healthy weight have a healthy obsession with their eating habits and lifestyle choices. So while I don't love that term obsession, 
what I do think um, is really important to note that it that it is this this dedicated focus and commitment, dedication to their eating choices and lifestyle habits. So, so in other words, how I like to think of it is that their health, their, their weight, maintaining a healthy weight, that is one of their top values in life. So someone who successfully maintains their weight uh, long term, it becomes one of their values and one of their priorities. Because the truth is that what we value is what we will put our time, our attention, our effort in. It's where we'll make sacrifices. It's what we'll prioritize. It's what we'll spend money on. And so all of us have limited time and resources, you know? You know, maybe you have a full-time job that is demanding. Maybe you have kids that you're raising or grandkids that you're active with. Uh, maybe you're caring for elderly parents, you know? The truth is that many people have full plates full of responsibilities, and so we have to choose what are we going to prioritize. And so for those who successfully maintain a healthy weight, um, their health and that healthy weight has become one of their their values and one of their priorities, which means that they set aside time to to meal plan or prepare healthy meals. Maybe it means that they're scheduling time to to go for walks or to exercise. Maybe it looks like them, you know, just regularly reviewing their goals and their commitments. But no matter what it is, is you know, it has to become a priority and a value for you. And if you're thinking, Ugh, I don't know if I can prioritize, you know, me, because that's another obstacle I hear a lot from women is that it's really hard when you do have other people you're caring for in your job and other responsibilities. You know, I hear all the time, like, it, I feel selfish doing these things for myself. And you know that, if that's you, if that's coming up for you right now, then I highly encourage you to really take some time to journal and reflect on that or schedule a call with me so we can work through that together. Because, um, because taking care of your health is not selfish. Taking care of your health is a necessity. The only way you can show up for other people, the only way you can be the best, most confident version of yourself is if you feel good, if you have good energy, if you feel happy and confident. And so valuing your health is not selfish. It is the best gift you can give to yourself and to those around you. Okay, so I'm done with that little uh, rant or soapbox. So that was trait number two, is that successful long-term weight loss uh, happens when you have the mindset that you, you have this healthy obsession with your eating habits and lifestyle or you value it. So let me know, number two, just type number two in the comments if that is an area that you want to work on. Okay, number three, the third trait um, and it's kind of based off a quote I heard, and I wish I knew who originally said this. I don't, so I can't give you the original source. But the quote is, if you're going to keep the fat off, you have to like what you did to lose it enough to keep doing it. So essentially, I think one of the biggest downfalls with diets is if you go into it with the mindset that I'm going to follow this diet or this plan until I lose the weight, and then I'll be done. You know, it's this short-term mentality. Like I just, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z, I'm gonna lose the weight, and then, then I don't need to worry about it anymore. And we know that that's just not true. You can't go back to all your old eating habits and expect to maintain the weight loss. So instead of going into these short-term diets that feel so restrictive and feels uh, makes you feel so deprived and hungry all the time or dealing with cravings, what we need to do is find a way of losing weight that you enjoy enough that you are perfectly okay sticking with long-term, that it feels 
pretty simple. And I will tell you 100% that, that that is what I have found for myself. I have this healthy way of eating that just is my, my normal. I don't feel like I'm dieting. I don't feel like there's foods I can't have. I still allow myself, you know, exceptions that you know, bring me joy now and then. I don't feel deprived. I have this healthy way of eating. It's just part of who I am. And so that is the third trait is enjoying the process of losing weight enough that you are okay sticking with it long term. Okay, the fourth uh, trait then that I have for you is, let me check my notes, um, committing to the long game and being realistic with your expectations. So three kind of blends into four here. So again, it's it's not going into this short-term diet, but it is saying, okay, I'm gonna create a healthy lifestyle that I'm okay sticking with long-term and committing to the long-term, committing to figuring out what it's going to take to get to a healthy weight and to be healthy, um, and just being okay if it takes longer than what you would like. Because let's be honest, we all wish that you know we could eat healthy for a day, work out one day, and the next day have that flat stomach when we look in the mirror. I mean, how many times have you like just been frustrated because you're doing X, Y, and Z, but you haven't seen the results? And you know the truth is, I, I know we know we know this logically, and I know it can feel like you know you can do well forever, and it takes forever to lose the weight, and then you can eat well um, or just kind of splurge for a couple days and gain 10 pounds overnight. Like I get that it feels that way, but in reality, it has most likely been at least a couple years in the making um, for you to put on an extra 20, 30, 50 pounds. You know, it it doesn't happen overnight, and it takes time for our body to adjust and to re-regulate and to, to be okay letting go of that extra weight. It's a process. But when you commit, when you're realistic with your expectations and when you come into it just saying, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure out what it's going to take to get to a healthy weight. And if it takes me three months, if it takes me six months, if it takes a year, it will be worth it in the long run and you will get there. You know, we I have someone in the program right now who like her, like she said all throughout the time of working together that, um, that as long as she follows the program, she's not gonna fail. Because as long as she keeps doing it and keeps moving forward and keeps making healthy choices, she's not going to fail. And, and that's the mindset that we need to take, that the only way you can possibly fail at this is if you give up, if you stop trying. Um, but if you keep taking steps forward to create this healthy lifestyle, then, then you will be successful. You know, I see it every time. And I'm saying this from a place of, you know, my experience working with hundreds of women by now, helping them get to a healthy weight for their body. So those are the four traits of people who are able to successfully maintain their weight long term. So I'll recap them real quick and I'd love for you just to type in the chat like which ones do you need to focus on the most and you can just put the numbers in. So one was getting honest with yourself about what your why is for wanting to lose weight and be healthy. Two is having that healthy obsession with your eating habits and lifestyle choices or at the minimum, you know, having um, having it be one of your values. Number three is finding a way to lose the weight in a way that you enjoy enough to keep sticking with it. And four is just committing to the long game and being realistic with your expectations. So let me know which of those you are going to commit to work on adopting. And then if you are ready to figure out how to create a healthy lifestyle that you can stick with long term, then that's what we do in the Emerge Weight Loss program. And I would love to talk with you more about it if you're interested to see if it is a good fit for you and if it is something that will help you lose weight, feel better, and and maintain that. Be part of the 5%. So I will, once I'm done here, put a link in the comments if you would like to book a time for us to talk uh, so we can see if the Emerge program is a fit for you or not. And then if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.